So Google launched the Pixel 3 XL in 2018 and in 2019 it also launched a Pixel 3 type phone, this time the Pixel 3a. Now there's quite a big difference in performance between the Pixel 3 and the 3a, but how big is that difference? Well, let's find out. So we've got the Pixel 3a XL on the left hand side and that comes with the Snapdragon 670 and on the right hand side we have the Pixel 3 XL that comes with the Snapdragon 845 and here we have them side by side they're both now into the blood test and the 3 XL is the first into the 2048 test this is probably setting the tone for what we're going to see that the Snapdragon 845 is going to pull ahead from the Snapdragon 660 and then again there it is the Pixel 3 XL has gone into the bloom test first and you can see the difference of the intensity of the blues there because the 3XL is running at a much higher resolution, Quad HD resolution. Oh, and just did you see it go through that? Both of them went through the SQL light test. Absolutely amazing that I did. I almost missed how quickly they were both going there. And both devices are now into the 3D test. I was saying there's a difference in screen resolution. The Pixel 3XL is running in Quad HD uh, 1440 by 2960, whereas the 3A is running in just full HD, which is 1080 by 2160. And both devices are now into the 16 thread test and this is going to be interesting because the Snapdragon 660 is a octa-core setup but it's only got two Cortex A75 cores and the six Cortex A55 cores compared to the four Cortex A75 cores and four Cortex A55 cores in the Snapdragon 845 and you can see that in the multi-thread test it's taken much longer for it to get into that unity test and already the Pixel 3 XL has got a clear head start there and here we see the second big difference look at the speed of these two side by side obviously a much higher frame rate it's absolutely tearing through the Pixel 3 XL there but the Pixel 3a is going much much slower it really is plodding along those frames seem to be coming up like they're coming the way up bubbling up through quicksand before they get to the screen and of course this is the difference between the Adreno 615 which we find in the Snapdragon 670 and the Adreno 630 which we find in the Snapdragon 805 and there you go the Pixel 3 XL has already finished with a time of 1 minute and 49.9 seconds and the clock is still ticking we're about to reach the two minute mark as the pixel 3a xl continues its way so as i was saying there's a big difference here not only in the cpu between this two plus six setup two quarters a75 and six quarters a75 versus four plus four four quarters a75 versus four quarters a55 and of course the big difference in the uh, gpu the 615 to the 630 obviously the bigger number the 630 tells us that it is a better gpu and not only that the clock speeds are different for example the quarters a75 cores are clocked at a maximum of two gigahertz in the pixel 3 xl and it's now finally made its way into the compression test here it's going now seven eight nine what's the final time going to be ten there we go two minutes and 39.8 seconds well, let's break down those numbers and see what happened. So clearly the Pixel 3 XL won with a time of 149.9 and 50 seconds later, the Pixel 3 XL came in with two minutes 39.8. Now, if we look at the CPU time, we can see about a 10 seconds difference there between the Pixel 3 XL with 42.1 versus 31.4 on the Pixel 3 XL. When it comes to the mixed CPU GPU test, that would include the blur test, for example, we get a 45.4 and a 43.2, not too much of a difference there. So 10 seconds in the CPU-ish, couple of seconds there in the mix, but the big killer here is when we get to that GPU, one minute and 12 seconds to go through that 3D test on the Pixel 3 A, A XL, and 35.2 seconds on the Pixel 3 XL. So there is where the big difference comes into it. And that made a big difference in the overall time between the two devices. So if you're into 3D gaming, then you really want to consider the Pixel 3 compared to the Pixel 3a XL. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.